Hey, I'm Joe Manganello. Hey, it's Matt LeBlanc. Hi, I'm Yvonne Strahovski, and you're watching Cavino and Rich. Cavino and Rich. Cavino and Rich. Makes me feel Randy like the wooden puppet from Pee Wee's Playhouse. Yeah, that's right, Pee Wee. <laughs> Randy the puppet. The good one. Good, uh, great yeah, reference. There's Taryn Manning right there. There she is. That broad. <laughs> yeah, there she is. Hey. I used to hang out with Taryn Manning. <laughs> Hello, Taryn Manning. How are you? Hey. What's going on? Good to see you. Taryn How's everything? Manning. She's good to see you again. Known for so many cool yes, things. Indeed. She's a, a, a former model and, and designer and music artist and actress. And you know what we know her best from? Uh, introducing us to the schlong, the schlonger, and the <laughs> schlonger right. donger. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, how do you remember that yeah. shit? Oh, I mean, what do you mean? You just that's remember, you remember the most random stuff. That was a schlonger donger. I was like, sweet. Studied. Yeah. Welcome back to our Thank LA studios. Because that was in New York. That was in New York. Yeah, that was in New York. That's why, okay. When you didn't have pink hair. I didn't have right, you got the pink hair going. And you got yeah. the Michael Jackson type coat on. Oh, wow. This yeah, is some cool stuff. Well, pull that stuff off, Pepper. though. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, I can see that, too. It's <laughs> a good coat. Yeah. You Thank know, by the you. way, before we talk Orange and New Black, before we talk Life, uh, before we talk, you are Coachella. I want to know what that was all about. Um, you know how every time you bring up a random celebrity, one of your friends has a bizarre story about them? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, I get, no. no but it, it's, not, it's not a bad one, but usually, like, I mean, you, always have, longer, you, always, you, always, you always have one random friend that's like, oh, I have a story about that person. My yeah. buddy Scotty, yeah. he said, Tara Manning's going to be on the show. I have the weirdest story ever. Oh, Our geez. buddy Scotty B, who we used to work with in radio, he okay. said, uh, no joke. He goes, I was at Red Rock Casino a couple years back, and I found Taryn Manning's player's card. And I actually went around the casino to find her and gave it back to her. No way. And I was like, how bizarre is that? <laughs> wow. How so he was uh, stalking you, her you're like, I don't remember, you're like, wow. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> you're like, I don't remember I gambling. Don't remember play, yeah, where's, I don't she, even think I had it. If she lost her That's player's hilarious. card, I mean, she was having fun doing some other shit. She didn't care. Right? So. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what she was up to that night. That is yeah, awesome. so, so tell us first and first mostly about Coachella, because I, I saw that you were just there. And we, we did not go, but we yeah. feel like what a scene it is. Yeah, Coachella's um wow. It's I've been going since the fir very first year. Mm -hmm. Got to age so you're myself. like OG. Yeah, OG. But it's become it's 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 awesome. I mean, it's like. But it's not what it was, right? It's not what it was. That's what I'm getting. It's okay. Very like uh, I guess you know, kind of corporate in the sense of yeah, Uber. Everything just set up in such a way. It's sponsored now. Yeah, in it's big like ways. yeah, and like you can only take Uber but not Lyft, and it's like it's just a whole thing, and it's really aggressive, and it was really dusty. Now, it very, very feel, dusty. I feel like I have like a pound of dust in my lungs. Sponsored by Swiffer or something. <laughs> right. the, the, the next year. But, but hold on, hold on. I got to ask hilarious. you this, though. Like, you got this natural sort of like artsy vibe about you already. That's who you are. When you see these other girls with the, you know, like, you, you got that jacket and I believe it. You know what I mean? But I feel like there's a lot of people that play right. dress up and, and, and they're doing the beaded, bedazzled face thing. Yeah, you there like was that? a lot of that. There yeah, was is a that, lot. Is that, how do you feel That's about that hilarious. stuff? That's I, I noticed that. I was like, wow, this is a very, um, my, my, reminded me of my raving days. Right, okay, like so it's coming in, back a little bit? Yeah, but I don't, I, I don't do that, no. You don't do that? I just have pink hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, um, it's a fashion, um, yeah, it's, it's a fashion just blitz out there. You're kind of like, wow, all right. And Girls don't wear a lot. Is the music and I was gonna say, I was gonna say, and a lot of uh, from what we understand, a lot of butt cheek exposure. A lot of like, butt cheeks. Ass is just out everywhere, huh? Yeah, one of my shows, we had a quite an exhibitionist. Uh, she was, <laughs> I think we might have seen every type of cheek that she possibly had. Oh. Um, have you seen deflated cheek? Because our producer <laughs> spot has two of <laughs> deflated butt cheeks, <laughs> really flat ass. What happens? <laughs> I don't know. He sat on a, a I don't know, a pin cushion or something. But something happened. Pin cushion. Ass. He got pan, he got pancake ass. So I don't know what happened. Um, Thanks for that. But that so you were amazing. there. You were you were living it up. Are you are you sort of harassed in any sort of way at, at things like this? Um, I'm not harassed. Um, but you know, people become excited, and I'm not not everybody. Though, not everybody. But, yeah, it's you. definitely like you have to put on that game face. Like, all right, it's going down. Here we go. You know. And, gotcha. And you, yeah. Do you ready to smile or lots of pictures? Taryn, yeah, a lot of that. Knowing yeah. that you're going to be on a shitload of Instagram feeds. Yeah, Instagram, right. a lot of Snapchat. Right, I think. people mm -hmm. are filming you and you're just trying to dance and have a good time. Yeah, they're right. always secretly filming. Like, right, that's creepy. Like, just ask. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah I see creepy. you. I know what you're doing. I know <laughs> what you're doing. That yeah. is creepy. I'll do like a video and pan around slowly. Michael has turned me. You know, this, we never talk s a smack about it. You know, we have fun uh, with it because it's such a big thing. I think part of it has to do with the fact that we're not there. Like, I would love to still 
check out the scene and and see it for myself. You know what I mean? And wear some butt exposing jeans. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. don't really feel a sense of like loss, like you're missing out on. Yeah, that's that's you know, where the uh, yeah. you're sitting here the in LA. Yeah. yeah, the questioning comes from man. I feel like I, I, no, I, I missed the party. Yeah, because people when you were here this past weekend, people were like, oh no, Coachella, and it's like, oh, you know, now, now you're making me feel like yeah. the asshole that's missing out. <laughs> yeah, you're and you're not. home. No, but if you look, most of the groups that you probably like are playing in LA this week, right? Because right. they're in town. Of course. So that's the good news. That yep. is the good before news. Before you, uh, before you got here today, it's uh, odd. We were we happened to just be talking about Eminem, and we realized that's right. You worked with him in Eight Mile. Is yes. he is he a kind man? We picture him being just like, like just uh, he's so talented, big fans of Eminem, but we feel like he's sort of mean. Is he? Uh, is he? Was he nice to you? Yeah, he was awesome. He was yeah. really funny. Yeah, he's a funny super, guy. Uh-huh. So he's fine. He's not a mean guy. <laughs> no, I was saying when I first met him, he just has like a face like he's it just. Was, it was it oh, was at the him. height of his popularity. I mean, he's still uh, iconic yeah. now, but I'm saying he, he was coming like up being like on uh, social situations. Yeah, and you know what? I got that vibe. He was at a rock station. I worked at a rock station. Yeah. And he was probably like, you know, what the fuck am I doing here? Yeah. And he had that sort of really uh, guarded way about him when I met him. But it was everything I would have expected from him at the time. But you're saying there's there's but a were kinder, there answers side. like when you spoke to him? Nah, did, they, did the walls ever come down? No, 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 no. <laughs> you, did not, you, did not break, you did not break yeah. those walls. No way, not at that time in, in, in my I career. I think he was, um, well, that was during 8 Mile. Um, I would have to say that's one of one of the peaks. But yeah, no, he was enjoying himself a lot. Have so. you shouted out in any of his songs or no? Uh, no, but I, I have a song on his soundtrack. Oh, yeah. Because I'm a musician. Well, that's, yeah, that's uh-huh. cool. Of course, yeah, I know. You got the new album, Glitch Life and everything, May yeah. 5th. You're putting it out on Cinco de Mayo. Uh, I know. What, what's that about? So trying to trying to capitalize on the uh, our Mexican fans. <laughs> so I can be a uh, taco the town. Yeah, are you taco, taco the, town? the town? Are you uh, big in the barrio or something? Yeah, <laughs> number one in the barrio. Uh, Taryn, the uh, research came out. You're huge. Probably. You're huge in the barrio. Maybe some weird a- analytics like that. <laughs> well, I'm getting it. I want you to know that. Uh, uh, Glitch Life, May fifth is the new album. I want to ask you this, and we're going to talk about the TV stuff and everything. Yeah. Uh, the but, album's but, actually called Terranoid. Oh, is it really? Terranoid. Yeah. Where, where, where did I get that from? That's the new single. Oh, oh the Glitch Life is the single. Okay. Yes. okay, Glitch Life is the new single. You, you've done all sorts of, of music styles, right? And mm-hmm. you, you got uh, some popular dance tracks. What, what is this more toward? Um, this genre? is a dance electronica element. I've actually I'm mostly stuck in that in that sort of world. I guess kind of uh, always like, you know, program drums, even if they're like real. And, you um, do it? I mean, I do some some of the music. Yeah. Uh, so like is guitar. that like your hobby at home? You, you'll mm-hmm. just sit in the room and, and that's make like shit my up? main hobby. Yeah. Wow. So that's that's your that's real my deal. Love, love. Wow. Yeah. How, then how if that's your love love is, guitar is love, love. Love, your love love if that's yeah. your love love Tara yeah, yeah it's my love love, love. it's your love love and acting is my love love too because I know what you're gonna ask but you know what your love love too no I I just wonder. Do people, when you have a love love, do you take, uh, for instance, <laughs> we love love radio, right? <laughs> so anything outside of radio that we that we do or pursue. I don't think I love love anything as much as radio, so, to be honest. So yeah. meanwhile, there's not as much pressure. pressure. Meaning like, I, I, I feel pressured to perform on the radio when we do our show because that's my love love. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> But yeah. other things, it just seems like, yeah, I'm, I'm more laid back about it. So when you're doing TV, do you think maybe perhaps the acting came a little more relaxed to you and a little more natural because it wasn't your love love? I feel like what you just <laughs> said is exactly uh, the way it goes. Like, it, yeah, I don't feel um, a ton of pressure, and I just feel like it's meant to be fun and sort of, you know, like just everything is perks if it goes well, you know. Right. Yeah, because you're you're doing the music thing, which is which is obviously your your biggest passion. So when you see other actors, you must be thinking to yourself like, this is the only thing they're doing. I got I all things. Saying, I got other, other things going on. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I gave this girl advice this weekend, who's like. Um, you know, just on the like brink of becoming an, uh, a known actress. And I just told her like, simply, I'm like, go in the room, you know, when you're auditioning and, and go in there, like you already have five parts because it's like all about like desperation. That, that You could smell it. People, people could smell it. Yeah, I guess so. And so yeah. that's, I think, you know, confidence and just like, I don't really feel like being here, but I'm going to do a great job. Like, it's all just another... It's, act, like, da- it's like dating in a way, right? Think about it. When, you when could fake, fake that, though? You think you could fake that? I'm an actress. No. So yeah. I'm acting like I don't care, all the while I'm acting for them to get the part. Yeah, but that doesn't work in <laughs> relationships, because it seems like people want you when you're in relationships, but if you pretend... because yeah, they want you when they can't have you. Yeah, right. right. But if you're, like, desperate and you really want chicks, then that's when nobody wants you. But right. if you pretend, exactly. like, no, but, I, but, I, but I'm in a relationship, and, you know, so you can't so pull it off. similar in that way. Yeah, but but get, you can't pretend. You have to really mm-hmm. believe it. You have to really just be 
bummed out and lonely. <laughs> 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 and, make, and sit there and make beats and music and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, or just practice your, you which know, is probably, your radio voice. Yeah, exactly. That's oh, your, your radio voice. Is that your, <laughs> my radio voice. Is that your big escape, though? The music stuff, right? I can mm. see you doing that all the time. Are you good on the guitar? Like, you really I'm good? Really, I'm, I'm not great, great, but good enough to write jams. Are all of these things that you're into, do they feed one another like like you got all the arts on lockdown there and all the entertainment things modeling uh fashion this, where'd you get this modeling well, yes you were a model back in the day you used I to mean, model I've done right? a lot of like campaigns and right, stuff campaigns you know fashion style acting music do they all sort of modeling right <laughs> like the only thing you're not doing <laughs> is me and my whole six foot uh yeah, yeah. stature but you, yeah. you do like paint and stuff too no i don't paint oh, okay no, so that's I'm the off. one thing you don't you're not bums you know out. it bums me out um yeah, the, there's just, you know, when you're an artist, like, truly, there's so many layers yeah, to Yeah, you're that. a true artist. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I guess so. Don't you feel like the art is the, uh, sort of, like, the giveaway to see what sort of real artist you are, though? Like, because I feel like there's a part of me that feels like, yeah, I'm good in art and entertainment. I play guitar. I could get deep in, into yeah. my zone. So what he's saying is... you'll the, see the simpleton, like, stick figure shit I would do, do on a canvas. That's the, you think that's the, uh, like the benchmark that, of art? Like, well, <laughs> if I could paint as well. That would be the true indicator of, well, let's see where my art really lies. So it would be the most simple garbage. Well, I, I think doing... The, I think, the, I think, the visual <laughs> side of it. I think being interested in, and good at the arts is, like, just like a trick on everyone that has to do, like, bullshit jobs for a living. I feel like... Don't you feel like you are... You're doing stuff you love. That's just a... Yeah, that's I think unbelievable. That, I think it's an interesting road that we travel as artists. I not, I'm not gonna lie. Every now and again, and you know, some down periods, I've been like, man, if I, I just had like nine to five, like I would just kind of <laughs> know every day what I was doing. Yeah, but the excitement is not knowing what you're doing. Like when you sign on for, and then there's that side. Of it. When you sign up for Orange is the New Black, you sign on to this. You, you're you're on this show. Yeah, she's not knowing it's gonna last this long. You know, and no, I didn't. Right, and your character's unbelievable. The show is unbelievable. unbelievable. I mean, when, when is it coming back? By the way, I feel like it's been a, a long minute now. What's what's the <laughs> uh, timeline? Like, when's it airing? Yeah, or, when's it coming back? Um, is it June? Uh, is that twentieth? June ninth. June 9th. So June this 9th. summer. Okay, we're back. It okay. changes. It's always June, but it's like yeah, so June ninth. Yeah, I was gonna say we end off on a pretty fucking cool moment too. So yeah. no, Orange is New Black, it's a, it's, it delivers that show, huh? Yeah, yeah. I bet, you know that because I was so remember fun. remember season one was pretty much just about this chick goes to jail and her boyfriend was Jason Biggs and and then I feel like it took a whole world of its own because like what, yeah. season one I felt, felt like it was like a storyline of a girl that goes to jail. Now it's not even about that anymore. Yeah, because now it was like a it's like a catalyst to get us into this world and and mm -hmm. then you know because it's based on a book. So so the first um. The first, you know, uh, series of it, like, really kind of enhances that part. But then we're into this world, and then we just start getting now you to can know go wherever you want. All these women, yeah. It's unbelievable. And then, wow. and, What's the yeah. outlook when, when you're part of that whole Netflix explosion, part of that family? How, how do you view all the other success on the platform? Is, is that competition in any way, or whatever, is, whatever brings people to Netflix is good for your show? Yeah, I'm just one of those people that, you know, you can't, you can't control anything, right? right? Like, yeah, there's part of me that's like, Geez, how many more shows y'all gonna make? But then the <laughs> right. you, don't, you don't feel you know, in a way you don't feel special because it used to be it used no. to be Orange is New Black. What was the other one? It was uh, it's uh, the House of Cards. Yeah, it was like House of Cards and Orange is New Black. There was, there both was of one those more, shows. Yeah, it's um, there was uh, one more. Now you're like, oh, Netflix yeah. original series. All right. Yeah. Fuck! What was it? Spot? You know, it was it was what Orange New about? Black, Southern Grove, or like uh, Hemlock. Hemlock. No. Uh, Am I right? Uh, Lily Hammer. No, <laughs> Lily Hammer. Was it was early. It was. What was it, Spot? What? Both? Yeah, Hemlock Grove. Hemlock Grove. Grove, yeah. yeah. There was a few, and you're like, oh, these are these are exclusive Netflix shows now. And you're like, wow, these are delivering. This is and cool. Now, like every like every couple days, Adam Sandler has a new movie on the homepage. Yeah. Like every, there's the a lot of shit. Special. Yeah, they're making films. The comedy. Yeah. Are you into comedy at all or no? Because they got a lot of great yeah. comedy specials yeah. on that, too. Believe it or not, I am. <laughs> believe, what? You don't see? We, we believe it or not, like you're not fun? <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> I played so many like dramatic, messed up characters. I'm like, you know try to just make fun of it all now would you hit the stage and do it though could yeah, you I would. you would yeah you would do it like wow. on a, like broadway or no, stand-up comedy would you ever do yeah, stand-up ah oh, man that, that that makes me nervous oh okay i'm glad to hear that I'm like what, what are you not try. scared of you would try it i would try it fuck where do you I get might that want, from like a little bit of an outline of where i'm headed is that something that could be taught being yeah. fearless like that uh because I'm a it's big a, chicken shit. I performed at my daughter's... Oh, yeah, uh, he, he, he performed the Moana song. It, it, uh, his daughter sang at the talent show. When he played guitar, <laughs> and he was, was so scared. He was, he was scared. Were, was scary so up scared. there, huh? <laughs> I was fucking... <laughs> I was dying. My hands got all numb. Like, oh, ah! yeah. And like, and like moist. Yeah. Like, no, I, you can't. My fingers are moving. <laughs> ah! 
Yeah, yeah, it's weird. It's weird. You can choke up for sure. But you would get up there and do some comedy, huh? I mean, I. I but there'd I, be that I extra just... pressure on you too because they're like, "Oh, let's see what she's got." Right, and right. Because it. it's, it's about the hitting the beats like that, that one two punch. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's a lot of timing. Wow. So that's really, I think, for me, one of the things that I, th cause I think I'm funny, but it's like I know that there's a way you have to d deliver, deliver it. that timing. You know, so. Better yet, uh, I'm not next, good at math. next time will you perform with his daughter so he's not nervous? <laughs> sure. You can get up there and get to. Did you just blow it for her? Yeah. What would you, you say? It? No, I nailed it. Yeah. If anything, she blew it. Made me look oh, bad. No. no, no, no. I'm kidding. It, was, it went well. It went really well. That's awesome. But that was what the That's fear so was. I was like, oh, man, I don't want to mess up for her. And then she's going to hate me as a dad. And everything. She's gonna, she'll hate me forever. I hate you, dad. That yeah. was my fear, yeah. That's that's scary. But it went one. well. It went well. That's awesome. Now I'm 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 wondering now with you ha when you have the music when you have this come out May fifth. Now what do you what do you do in preparation? That's it. Because nowadays I was talking to you yesterday about how the music industry everyone could sort of do their own thing now, right? Mm -hmm. So there is no like pressure with a label or anything like right. that, is there? I mean, you just you do your own thing and your success is based on you, right? Yeah, yeah. You do your own thing, like uh, Della bought a bunch of your own money. Yeah. <laughs> But then you, you hope um, to make back your money more, but there's yeah. no, like the, the template for music is just completely different yeah, than 5, 10, so 20, 30 years all ago. all your own money going into this project? I mean, I, I basically like, I'm, yeah, I mean, really? I, I, wow. I, I don't mind that though. I feel, I have a, I have a big, um, like, if, uh, what do you say, like, just theory, like the more, like the more you kind of, you have to invest in your, in yourself, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. there's, you had to, I had to get my head shots, acting classes, blah, blah, blah. I mean, that, all that stuff adds up in mm -hmm. hopes that, you know, you're honing your, your skills and your craft and you make it all back. You're the investment. You yeah. got to put money into yourself. Now exactly. with, with Comedy Central, you have something else. Go, you see, you are funny. You're on Comedy Central too. <laughs> what's, what's going on with this? The Comedy Jam. Um, so this is like a show that's it's amazing. You get up and you tell a um, you know a story of of, uh, of your past or whatever. They're all different types of stories, and it leads you into the reason why you chose the song. And then they put a band together, and you kind of just really full on sing it. And you do pour some sugar. Yeah, so on let, me, let's, right? hear, let's hear a little sample. Of you this is look at this. Wow. Like a video tramp, devilish and woman, can I be your man? I love it. Nice. I love it. Do you like watching yourself? No, no, you know, I was going to ask you, are you really a rock star or are you acting like a rock star there? Because well, I, I mean, yeah, what do you think? I think you're a rock star. I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like we're all acting like one in a way. <laughs> I don't think anyone's really. I think no, everyone's sure. putting it on. You're, 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 you're like a. A version of yourself on like steroids in a way. Yeah, like no one's really no, acting. I feel yeah. like that's her comfort zone. I feel like that is a natural. Sort yeah, but of then thing. I go backstage and like I'm qu very quiet and chill. And if you, if gotcha. you meet a lot of rock star, rock star, right. like I don't know, <laughs> stage performers, like even let's go back to Michael Jackson or Prince, like you go talk to them and they're the most soft spoken, like. Hi. Right, 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 right. So they're putting it so, on. There's just a lot. It's, it takes a lot of energy, you know? Well, I mean, you're killing it. I, the Comedy Jam premieres tonight, Comedy Central, 10 p.m. Uh, again, June 9th. It's good times right now, man. Yeah, June 9th is Orange the, is the new, new Black. And the new album. May 5th is uh, our, our, gua our guacamole contest and your CD. Yeah. Oh and, your, and, your, and your music. Let's uh, do it. The, uh, let's make it number one in the barrio again. <laughs> number one in the barrio as always. And honestly, we we got to go, but a pleasure to see you Aww, again. You too, guys. Taryn great, Manning, we, we, hit we her love, up. Love you. We love, we, we love, yeah, love we you. do love, love I you. I love, love, love you, though. <laughs> Thank you. All right. That, that, that. Taryn Manning, hit her up, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, arriba there, Chibi. See you in the promise. All right, <laughs> goodbye.